videos, YouTubers that you probably have seen, you have no idea that I'm the one that's been editing it, you know? I've worked so damn hard at it. Sometimes I feel like I just give up, right? And figure out maybe this YouTube thing isn't for me anymore. Everything that I paid for, my place, my car, my failures, my wins, my camera gear, my own things, all paid for by YouTube. Man, has it been quite the journey to me trying to become a content creator. Is that too loud? So if you don't know how my actually story started, it started around the year of 2010, where I created a YouTube channel. I was going through university at SFU studying criminology, and I absolutely hated it. I didn't know what I was studying. I was like, what am I doing with my life? And all I remember was I have this driving force to make YouTube videos. Take in mind that this was before things like TikTok, Instagram Reels, any sort of content creation. Content creation was just those who were really crazy and not a lot of people did it. So when I first started creating content, people were like, what the fuck are you doing, man? You have a degree. You should get a job closer to this. But all I knew was I wanted to do me for the first time ever in my life. I wanted to do myself, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to do something that made me happy. And because I didn't come from the most supportive people around me, I didn't have the most environment, I had to cut out a lot of people. I had to really put my head down and hustle and grind and figure out this content life where it was never, ever given to me. And because of that, it was one hell of a lonely content creation journey. Where nowadays, there are kids when I first started can do it within two years, one year. And boy, not a sense of jealousy, but a sense of, damn, man, your boy has struggled to try to do this YouTube thing. Because when it comes to creating content and being a content creator, another thing is with the type of videos that I make, I myself am the product. And when you yourself become the product, all your insecurities come to the surface. You yourself are putting yourself out there for judgment and criticism. And boy, was I insecure and still am at times. But to backtrack a bit about where I first started is I was a broke boy, man. I was going to university. I had no idea what I was doing. And during my last semester of school, I was like, okay, man, I need to figure something out. How do I get this video content creation thing to work? So I picked up a job, a line cook job, where I was making like 11 bucks an hour. And from that, I was able to have money to create and buy my first camera and then make my very first YouTube video. But before that, all I knew was this silly phone talking to a camera, my voice trembling and shaking. I was like, why, why are you crying? Because I was scared. Because I wanted to do something. I wasn't great at it. And it took me 2,000 videos later that I was able to finally hone in on content creation. So I just bought this bad boy the other day. And here are the newbie things that I had to go through. How do I turn it on? Okay. So during my time as a line cook, People were making fun of me. I didn't have the most support. People were like looking at me crazy. I'm like, yeah, I want to make YouTube videos, X, Y, Z. But then what I did was I was like, you know what? I'm going to get a job making videos. So at that time, I was a dishwasher scrubbing dishes, man. You have to understand how humble that is, where I just got out of like $50,000 in debt from going to university for a degree that I did not enjoy. And then from there, I started freelancing in video. Mind you that I had no experience in video editing. I didn't know how to use a camera. And I was completely self-taught. And because of that, everything that I knew and I learned, it came from my very passion of video telling and storytelling. Because me being a weird, awkward, shy, introverted kid, I didn't have the most best social skills. Because of that, I was really good at honing down, thinking about what I'm doing, and then how do I recreate my stories in video format. And I'm like, maybe that's just a Scorpio inside of me. But I knew that I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to make content. 
Fast forward a couple of years working for a fake guru, I got my first digital marketing agency job as a full-time content creator. But at that time, I was only making $30,000 a year, which is like nothing. From there, I jumped around from digital marketing agency to agency, guess what? Creating people's YouTube videos. And from there, I worked for a pretty known influencer and then most recently working for one of the biggest tech companies as, you know, their sole videographer to create their YouTube videos. So what happened was I got lost in the money because I came from a, such a place of scarcity where I got sidetracked, where all I wanted to do was to create content for me. But, you know, don't get me wrong. If, if the dollar's right, you know, you know, everyone has a price. I got lost in creating all that sauce for other people because ultimately the TLDR of that is like I gave up on myself. I gave up on myself as a content creator because I didn't think I was good enough. Bad, you know, this certain metric kind of dictated my own creativity. If I set out a goal, I'm gonna make it happen. So on November, what is that? 29th, 2015, that is when I finally hit a thousand subscribers. And trust me, when people see the views, you're like this, and they make, I'm like, trust me, bro, out of everyone, I am my hardest critic and my harsh, harshest of harsh judge, right? I know exactly what's going on. And because I spent all my energy and time helping other people create content, YouTube videos that have gotten millions of views, a part of me was like, why can't I do this for me? How come I just suddenly gave up on myself? And that's one of the things I realized, working for this person and making their YouTube videos, I'm making this company's videos, this I'm like, over time for doing this for almost a decade now is like, man, I feel like I don't really like making videos anymore. And what ended up is happening now is I need to re-figure out how do I make this content thing a full-time thing without needing to sell courses, without figuring out how do I not sell you and be a mentorship program? Ultimately, how do I become a product of you guys where I can make content, turn this into a legitimate business plan and figure out what's the next step for BTH Peter and what am I all about? From my journey from creating content for other people to where I'm at now, it is all an entire blur. Everything that I paid for, my place, my car, my failures, my wins, my camera gear, my own things, all paid for by YouTube, by me making YouTube videos, by me having that initial spark and action into making my own content. But somewhere I feel like it was not enough because I tied a lot of my own confidence between vanity metrics, where it's like, I am a creative first. I like making art, right? But the thing is, art is not always marketing. Marketing itself and numbers and getting people's attention, it's almost like a, it's not necessarily mutually exclusive, but it's a thing where it's like my self-esteem, I feel like now, working for a lot of digital marketing agencies, it's so wrapped around vanity metrics, where it's like, oh man, I literally feel like crap if a video does not do well, even though I know that I put my heart and soul into it. It just comes down to the product itself wasn't for the right people or to get seen or the way that it needs to market. And trust me, man, when people tell me YouTube advice, I don't, you know, try not to take it personally, but it's like for 10 years, seven, six now, I've been a YouTube strategist for other people, making other people's content, making them famous, making them popular, making them money. And most recently, I just rejected a job for $5,000 a month, a simple, pretty big million subscriber YouTube channel, because I was like, wait, I think it's time for me in my life to start focusing on me, and which is why I'm starting to create more content for this channel. And it's like, I am so open to creating the most craziest content for whoever is watching in this time and age. And I'm going to show you guys in front of you to figure out to how do I re-manifest this energy that I have again, right? And figure out, you know, what's next for Peter. Your boy just turned 30 now. I still remember first making my video when I was like 22, 23, 21, whatever around that age. 
Asian don't raise in, but your boy's getting older now and life's a lot different, but I'll talk about that maybe in a future video. This means better quality content and a lot more interesting skits and rants. I think one of the things is like, when I compare myself to other people, it's like I'm comparing to my the wrong people. I'm looking for the people in the super league, the A league, you know what I mean? Look at people that have millions of views and they're doing this for a living. I'm like, I've worked so damn hard at it. Sometimes I feel like I just give up, right? And figure out maybe this YouTube thing isn't for me anymore. But I've made so many videos on that, but it's like I keep coming back. And it's really a symbolization of, I don't know what the f I'm doing with my life. Because at the end of the day, it's like I'm chasing happiness. And making content like this makes me happy. And hopefully, I can document my own growth as a human. Because how when I first started and how I appeared on camera versus how I am now, those are two different Peters, man. Those are completely two different people. You might say I look a little bit more of a villain now. I'm going through my villain era. But life is short so short and you need to figure out like what makes you happy and the minute that you stop focusing on people's opinions and judgments of whatever it is that you think that you have of them the more confidence that you will have back into yourself and then what you realize or what i realized is that i needed to prove no one else but to myself, that I am more than capable to do what it is that I ever set my mind to. Because I know that I am damn talented. And from that, from there, I will reverse engineer everything that I ever wanted. Sorry, I got a little motivational there. <laughs> there have been a lot of tears, man. There's been a lot of tears of me. You know, sacrificing a lot. It's a lonely journey, content creation. Not a lot of people get it. And, you know, you see other kids that they come up. I'm like, holy shit, dude. You're only like 16 and you're, you have triple amount of subscribers that I have or followers or whatever. I don't feel bad, but I'm like, give me a piece of that pie, you know? If I can just have a sliver of this person's success. <laughs> the moral of the story is what happened to me was I turned my dream into a full-time job. But it was never supposed to be a job in the first place. And because of that, I chased external things instead of how do I show up as me, the most authentic me and I can be. And I want to inspire you to be the best you and authentic person that you can be so you can thrive in whatever environment that you choose to. Because no one ever puts you first. And I want this channel to be about mental health, finances, right? We do I talk about money, talk about online content creation talking about, you know, relationships and figuring out how do you actually discover your voice again, if you're anything like me, you know. When you go around the world, it's easy to get lost in a nine-to-five job. It's easy to, you know, worry about how did I buy my first house. It's easy to compare yourself to people around my age popping out kids and getting married now, you know. And sometimes I feel like I just failed as a YouTuber. I failed myself from, you know, not living up to my potential. But potential is bullshit if I don't actually put any action behind it. And I feel like a lot of things that has happened to me, it's all documented on this channel. And I feel like I'm rambling now, but YouTube got rid of the oldest video, so you can't, you have to literally scroll through, but... It is what it is. You know, I worked from some of the most popular videos, YouTubers that you probably have seen. You have no idea that I'm the one that's been editing it, you know. <laughs> but I gave up myself so I can help build others. And something that I feel like I needed to get back was my own voice, man. Because your boy is sick of editing for other people. It's time to edit for me. See y'all in the next video. Leave a comment below. I read it. I get like probably, you know, three. If I'm lucky, I appreciate you. Hell, I appreciate you. And uh, who knows what's next for this video or who knows when I'll next I'll post. But I'll see y'all in the next one. My name's Peter. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant. And if you watched this far, come along.
for this crazy ride, man.